Welcome to Whistler, British Columbia, home to one of the world's fastest bobsled tracks and ground zero to an Olympic bobsled recruitment program like no other. Today, the Mercer Report goes downhill fast. And look who it is, a couple of Olympians, Helen Upperton and Jesse Lumsden. Hello, Helen, how are you? Hi, Rick. Jesse. Great to see you, Rick. Great to see you. You have a silver medal. Yeah, here on this track, too, so I, I always have a, it's got a special place in my heart. When you won the silver, mm -hmm. how fast were you going? Um, close to 150 kilometers an hour in a two-man, and the four-mans here in Whistler go over 150 kilometers per hour. Now, this one, the one I will be driving, because it's like a little beginner sled, will be going like 20, 30 kilometers an hour. A uh, hundred and ten? No, I knew it. Like, see, I told them when they said, no, no, you're driving, I said, well, then it must have, I don't know, traction or so, something. So it doesn't go fast. So there's a, a few things that are going to make this safe for you. One is that we're going from curve seven, um, so you're going to be going much slower than a normal bobsleigh. But that would still really... 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah, but for a bobsleigh, that's slow. Just let's, yeah. And then also the plank slip doesn't articulate, and it's got a very low center of gravity. It's got a lot of weight in it, so um, they don't crash. And we're wearing helmets. Oh, yeah, and, right. <laughs> and you have helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Oh, I, listen, I don't go anywhere without a helmet. I barely walk down the street without a helmet at this point. Now you, you were also in the CFL. Yes, sir. So anything with a helmet appeals to you. Right. Yeah. You gotta protect an noggin. This is our chariot. Yes, sir. I love the color. Yellow so, looks fast. fast. And you know, you always hear about how expensive bobsleds are. And so when you get up close to one, you expect them, I don't know, to, to have fancy. something inside. Yeah. It's fiberglass, carbon fiber, and steel, and some bungees. It resembles a discount coffin. So we're walking the entire track. Is this a thing you actually do, and if so, why? We do this every day with the drivers before training. Um, so technically, it's to, to study the profile and to understand the program, right? You're going 100 and here, 50 kilometers an hour from the top, and you have to be able to react very quickly. Uh -huh. So you have to know exactly which way the corners go and what the program is. How am is. I gonna know which way the corners go? We're gonna quiz you on the way down. You'll be fine. This is corner seven. It's one of the biggest corners on the track. You're going to be moving very slowly. I have an observation. This is very icy. This is a huge corner, right? This is um, a big corner. So when corner. you're going from the top, you're you're way up on on the wall up no! here. No! Yeah, yeah. Like these are the lines from the bobsleds from the top. We're gonna be down here. Has anyone ever hit the ceiling? Yes. Oh yes. What? That was a question that I was asking for you to say no. Okay, no. You're looking where you want to go. You're looking where you want your sled to go. You're not looking at the icy wall in front of you. Right. Or yeah. the nose of your bobsled. The icy wall in front of you. <laughs> oh. I'm going 100 kilometers an hour. There's an icy wall in front of me. Are you going to tap me on the shoulder or something? Do you want me to? Yes. OK. I need a backseat driver. I thought the walk would help. <laughs> like, I really thought it would help. But it's terrifying. I'll be there right behind you to pull the brakes at the end when we're done. But Don't you, worry about can it. you brake halfway down? No. So the name <laughs> Brakeman is really theoretical. Well, well, they stop the I sled. Stop, I stop the sled. But you can't stop it halfway through. Like, if I'm screaming, stop, stop, stop this sled, stop. <laughs> yeah, that does, that's, no. <sighs> okay, we just gotta do it. We just gotta do it. Have so much fun. I will. Here we go, Rick. Right, straight, left, left, right, left. Yeah, it's right and left. Let's go. I'll have a double-double and a large cooler, please. <laughs> oh. Nice work. And we are now going to up the ante and go to the four men bobsleigh, correct? Yes. Yes. And we have found a fourth man on the hill. World and Olympic champion Adam Vancouverton is on the hill. Hello, Adam. How are you? Hi, Rick. I'm fine. How are you guys? Good to see you. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. Now, I tried Adam's sport, kayaking, and I was pretty good at it. Why are you on this hill? 
Well, I'm not. Um, well, For currently, I'm on this hill to hang out with you, fine folks. But you're a kayaker. I'm a kayaker. Are you just here skiing, or no? You... Well, yeah, I'm here cross country skiing because it's good cross training for kayaking, and I'm training for the 2015 Pan Ams and the 2016 Olympics. You just don't stop exercising. Never. I'd like. To, I'm. I'm actually fidgety right now because we're just standing still. So. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's let's get in the sleigh. I'm ready. Are you ready? You're ready. I'm ready. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. for a ragtag group of three Olympians and a man on the street. It was pretty fun. That's awesome. Rock and no roll. Thank Amazing. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for Good everything. Good driving. Good driving.